Hello guys and welcome back to another Boo Boo video. So there are a lot of rare and even unobtainable items in Booga Booga and I wanted to go through a bunch and find out which item is the rarest item in Booga Booga. In my opinion of course. Also uh, before we start if you saw my video that I made a couple weeks ago with Nat McKay, if you haven't, you should. I got this bag called the Radio Bag, which is basically like a radio pack, but it has the space of a god bag and I can play any song I want on it. And I'm pretty sure that only me and Master Squid have this item. You can only get it through a developer. So yeah, of course, this is technically the rarest item in the game, but I want to be showing off items that are actually obtainable or were obtainable to any average player. So uh, yeah, let's begin. Alright, so for the first item I'm going to be going over, it might be an item that a decent amount of people know about, and this item is called the Raw Crystal. Now I know what you're probably thinking if you don't know this item. Um, it's a, it's a crystal. But this is actually called a raw crystal. While these are called crystal chunks. And as you can see, if I put it down, you can see that here is a regular crystal. And then here is the raw crystal. So you can see, uh, there's, there's an apparent difference. Uh, it's a bit, uh, spikier. A, a bit taller. If we're being honest, it's basically just a retextured void shard. But we don't need to talk about that. And what makes this item so rare is the only way to obtain it is to mine a dancing Shelly. And what the heck is going on over here? Are are you are you okay? Whoa whoa whoa! Wait, the the music isn't even on. What are what are you doing? Usually they're supposed to not dance until you put the music on, but uh. I guess they just feel like dancing right now. But yeah, basically the only way to get this raw crystal is to actually mine one of these three dancing Shellys, which has 1 million health. So yeah, it's a decent amount of health to mine to be able to get this raw crystal item. But the reason I don't think that this is one of the rarest items is because with a couple of friends in a few hours, it actually isn't that bad to mine the dancing Shelly, but... You know, when you when you have no friends, it is a it is a pretty hard feat. I guess that's an interesting dance move. All right, so that was the raw crystal, and next up we have the spirit orb. If you don't know what the spirit orb is, it was an item obtained by mining the strange meteor, which came from the live event, and was actually the meteor that exploded and unlocked the portal to the aether. This strange meteor has 250,000 health, so it has a quarter of the health as the dancing Shelly, which is how you get the raw crystal. So. So I feel like that makes it less rare and also it was part of a live event like you know the meteors there and the only thing left to do is mine it so so that's what people did they mined it the spirit orb is supposed to have a use in the future but it doesn't currently have a use it is just like a green glowing orb and basically i feel like a lot of people think that this is an unobtainable item now and that you can't get the spirit orb anymore because the strange meteor kind of exploded but this portal you can actually kind of walk inside it and if you just swing your pickaxe the strange meteor is still there as you can see it has 250,000 health so yeah the spirit orb is actually still obtainable. You can kind of just mine the strange meteor while standing inside the aether portal. As long as you don't go into that glowing orb, you're good. Oh yeah, don't don't just do what I did. All right, and next up for another rare item, we have the raw pink diamond and the raw emeralds. Basically, in this version, we used to have um, textures where everything was square. So the pink diamond was just a pink square and the magnetite was just a purple square. Well, it kind of still is, but you get what I mean. And before that was changed, there used to be raw pink diamond and raw emerald. So when you mined stuff that gave you pink diamond and emeralds, you would get raw emerald and raw pink diamond that you had to- Hey! Hey, that's a rare item! You can- Give me that back. Banzo trying to steal my raw emerald. 
you stick out raw emerald and pink diamond that you would then have to cook. The campfire is trying to take my raw emerald also. But if you had raw emeralds and raw pink diamond still in your inventory, you got to keep them. It didn't take them away. So these are basically unobtainable now. So yeah, these are pretty rare since they are currently unobtainable. But I feel like a lot of people did have raw emeralds and raw pink diamonds before the update. And I know I did because I would pick up raw emeralds and then just not feel like cooking them. So they stayed like that. And then the update came. So yeah, it is a pretty rare and cool item since you basically have something from like before the update that's currently unobtainable. But I don't think it's the rarest. All right, and next up, we got the pumpkin pie and the scrambled eggs. I know when I first saw these items lying around, I was so confused. Cause I, like, you know, it's freaking pumpkin pie and scrambled eggs and booga booga. Like, what? If you're wondering how to get them, it's basically in the mojo shop, you have the gobbler buddy and you also have the peeper pet along with the lucky find but we'll talk about you later in a recent update it was actually added that you could upgrade your gobbler buddy your peeper pets and your lucky finds and the max level you can upgrade them to is level six so here you can see i can upgrade my gobbler buddy to level two if i wanted to i'm pretty sure how you get this pumpkin pie and these scrambled eggs is if you level up your gobbler buddy to level six you're your gobble buddy instead of pooping out pumpkins it'll poop out pumpkin pie and i'm pretty sure if you upgrade your peeper pet to level six instead of laying eggs it'll lay scrambled eggs however that works they are a pretty cool food item however they're not that rare next up we got another food item which is actually called the snaz fish or the snaz fish whatever as you can see this is actually the old fish texture for the texture update where this old fish texture was actually changed to this actually changed to being a dead fish which does make more sense instead of a a square but as you can see when i drop this snaz fish it is not an ordinary fish here it looks like an ordinary fish but uh it has a it has a blue eye it's like a it's like a possessed fish yeah kind of kind of creepy the only way to get this item is to complete fishing quests like the fishing 500 fish will give you like 20 of these things so yeah fishing quests are the only way to obtain them so they're not that bad because you can basically just afk with a god rod and get a bunch of fish pretty easily if it will give me a fish there we go i don't stop stop please i don't need any more pleb chests so yeah i don't think they're all that hard to get it might be a little hard to gather like a ton of them that you can actually use for pvp but uh yeah it is a cool and kind of possessed item no way my my lucky find i i was just i was just getting to you and next up, because my lucky find finally decided to get give it to me, is the Magnetite coin. Now, I'm assuming that a lot of my viewers know about this, considering it's become a huge meme on my channel because of this video I made. And basically, how you get this Magnetite coin is kind of like how you get the pumpkin pie and the scrambled egg items, which is why I said I will get to you later. But my, my lucky find wants attention, so... He decided to give me the magnetite coin now. Basically how to get it is you need to upgrade your lucky find to level 6, which is its maxed level. And then once you upgrade your lucky find to level 6, you will have a chance to for it to actually drop this magnetite coin. Now I don't exactly know how rare the magnetite coin is once you actually get the lucky find to level 6. I'm pretty sure it's just random because sometimes it takes like an hour to get it and sometimes it gives me one like when I first spawn into the game. So I'm pretty sure it's just random. So uh, yeah, it's not that rare of an item. It is a cool item to see once in a while though. And I mean, it does cost six mojos from this guy. But uh, yeah, if you're wondering what it does also, it gives 69 nice. coins. And now we finally have the rarest item in my opinion that I have currently. 
I, there also might be some other rare items that I don't even know about that people have. So if there are other rare items that you have and you want to tell me about them, I'm open to that because I love learning about new secret Easter egg and rare items in the game. Those are my favorite. They're so cool. But now, finally, we have the taco. Now basically, I talked about some other rare foods already, like the scrambled egg, the pumpkin pie, and the snaz fish, but this, this takes the cake, or takes the taco, get it? I'm pretty sure the backstory for this item is that it was created by Random Boy and given to Soybean and he did a stream where he explored the Aether when it came out like a month ago and he handed a bunch of tacos out to random people who were in his stream or in the Aether with him. I'm pretty sure that's like the only way you could have gotten it. I was given it by a fan so thank you to the fan who gave me two of them but I'm pretty sure that is the only way to actually get this item or unless someone else gives it to you who was there. I'm pretty sure this was like a random soybean giveaway where he was just giving out a random item that random boy gave him. So uh, yeah, there's like, there's no crafting recipe for it. You can't get it from a mojo. You can't get it anymore. So yeah, I think this taco is pretty much the rarest item I have right now in my opinion. And no, no, I'm not gonna eat one because one, they're rare and two, I don't like tacos. All right, so yeah, I think that's all for this video. Uh, if anybody has any rare item that they would like to tell me about or give me to show off for a video, please let me know. Um, developers, you know, if you guys have any other rare items that you could show off to me, I do enjoy using you guys for content. I mean, being your friends. Just kidding, you guys are amazing. But uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!